It's a somber day here at Debatable. Today we're talking about the most devastating summer breakups from some of our best friends. Nope, we don't know any of these people and they don't know us. Let's get Debatable. Oh my God. All right, Jocelyn, depress me with your best summer break. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, when I found out that Zary was over. Who is I'm, Zary? It's Zane and Perry, <laughs> um, AKA the Britney and Justin of this generation. Whoa. Whoa. Girl band meets boy band, dominance, royalty, plus they have accents. What more could you want? Wait, is that Katy Perry? No, this is not Katy Perry. Is that Katy Perry's little Satan sister? Her name is Perry, so they are sort of like uh -huh. loosely related and they're all you know, children of God. But these two broke up in a really nasty way. In fact, we don't even know what happened, but we hear he might have broken up with her via text. Also, she stuck by him through some pretty harsh drama. He was rumored to be cheating on her in Thailand and all over Southeast Asia. And I'm sorry, if you stick with your man through that, you deserve to walk down the aisle. If there's a rumor about cheating in Thailand, you are cheating in Thailand. I mean, maybe you are, but she's stuck with him. Plus, I mean, look at her. Is he gonna do any better than this? Probably. Like, what is did, her What probably. is her career? She is a member of Little Mix, one of my favorite girl bands. Do they sing time. that song about black magic? They do! Yes. Oh my God, I'm so See, so much. they're so sad, right? But nobody was surprised at this. We all saw this coming. We were shocked she even stayed engaged with him as long as they did. I was already emotionally prepared. I was not emotionally prepared at all. You're, I, you're not like, living in reality, I Justin. don't live in reality whatsoever. Truthfully, I think she's the winner in the situation. I'm still devastated about the breakup and he's already supposedly moving on. I, I think relating them to Britney Spears yeah, and Justin uh -huh, though is yeah. kind of a stretch. How long did yeah. they even date? I don't even think they, they dated They dated for long. about three years, which is an eternity oh. in Hollywood as well as for people in their teen years slash early 20s. <laughs> I honestly love them as a couple. I'm really sad about this situation. Your passion is riveting. Next. Like I said, we all knew this was coming, but we did not see Nick Jonas breaking up with Olivia Culpo. Yeah. I think he is really focused on climbing up the ladder in Hollywood, making money off his music, and what better way to do that as a hot guy to then to be single. So I think mm -hmm. he broke her heart so he would have a better career. It broke my heart because Olivia is one of the sweetest human beings ever and it's a heartbreaking situation. I think they're secretly still together. Just throwing it out there. They're not. Clearly. Clearly. Him taking off a purity ring didn't matter. Oh, you not think they had it. sex? No, I think he had a Miss Universe and he was like, oh wait. Oh, okay, it's your turn. It, it really actually hit me hard in the childhood. Kermit Ooh, and oh Miss Piggy. Now you can say what you want to say about your teenage babies, okay? Real life people. Okay, <laughs> doesn't matter. Real life childhood. This is like literally a foundation of love for every kid. They've been together for four decades. It's longer than any of these people have and it actually is a foundation of like believing in love and like you're gonna take fictional characters. I understand they're fictional. I get that, I understand. <laughs> But you're gonna even divorce them? They broke up because they can't have children together. What kind of children they can would they too. have? Well, Muppet please. Christmas Carol, Tiny Tim is a frog, and Belina and Statina, or something like that, are both pigs. <laughs> oh. Watch a movie. <laughs> but we saw this coming because Miss Piggy was rude to him all the time. She's just, she's horrible. And doesn't she be like, she's horrible. horrible. Yeah. She doesn't even love him. She's kissing him in this she's picture. Him. She no, loves she her was, little frog. She, doesn't she love loves him. him. <laughs> That's what she does. <laughs> I think she broke up with him because she feels like the big one in the relationship. And that's, mm. It's scary to be Dude, I get it. You feel like you're gonna break them like that. They like, don't. Look at They're really <laughs> strong. Yeah. Jackie. These two right here have been together longer than everybody on here. This is incredible. 40 years, years 40 years, 40 years. Not real people. Count. These are real people oh. with real feelings and real. Emotions, no, no, okay. they're Kardashians. Courtney hey. and Scott have been together since 2006 and they have gone through everything. Infidelity issues, sure. breakup, they have kids together. And so it was really sad because although Courtney for years after years after years has tried to put up with his drunkenness, his craziness and everything, they ultimately broke up and it's really sad. That's why I would say it's a very good thing. It's like, girl, go get it. Like he's a a-hole. They and were so never married, right? Gonna, no, never, never married. Smart never married. decision. I guess none of these people were Ever married. They're in a wedding dress. That was a scene in a movie. Where oh. they got married, guys. I'm not even joking. Like, does anyone have a heart? No. 
Okay. You guys are all too real. emotionally invested in this, so, so I'm going to break up the tear fest and rate my favorite celebrity breakups of the summer. Saddest. Saddest. Favorite. I would have to say the people that I'm the least sad about breaking up would be these guys. Yeah. I don't know. I, I just feel okay mm -hmm. about it. Like her eyebrows tell me it's all going to be okay. <laughs> I think next least saddest would be these two. I, they're just so attractive. Yeah. I feel like they're, they're going to be, be recover. fine. They're going to recover. They're going to go on Tinder oh, yeah. with like not great pictures. Mm -hmm. The and then they're gonna verified. clean up. Courtney and Scott is really sad because they have kids together. They have three kids. There's a ton of repercussions for that. With that said, I think it's really healthy to get divorced if you're not happy for your children. I don't think you should stay in something for somebody else. I think you should live your life. Real deep. And you do you, especially if you're a Kardashian, because you guys are both gonna be fine. Miss Piggy and Kermit, depression.com. They don't even have private parts. You've never seen You've them. Never You've seen never seen them. them naked. I know they're fictional, but it teaches kids everywhere. It teaches everyone that love can't survive. Yeah. Even fake fictional characters that were made to love each other it ended in divorce. That's definitely But that's reality too. All right, so this is my final pick. Olivia, Nick, Zayn and Perry, Scott and Courtney, Kermit and Miss Piggy. Obviously they're the saddest to the least sad. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comment section below and come back every single Friday because we get so debatable. And if you want to get down, dirty, and debatable some more, click to the left to check out us breaking down the best celebrity couple, or click to the right to get the 411 on who we think is the most underrated Kardashian. <laughs>